Today, we're discussing the Apple earbuds. These earbuds have most definitely become my favorite earbuds. I've had, I don't know, dozens upon dozens. I used to be a pretty good runner, culminating in high school and becoming a two-time individual state champion in the 16 and 3200, the mile and two mile. And then in college, running for two different Olympians. And so I've had a lot of earbuds. Uh, and over time, all of them just don't measure up. And now with these, I absolutely love them. I mean, I couldn't be happier. They're the absolute best things I've ever had on. They don't move around. So no matter what I'm doing in my day, I never worry about them coming out. I mean, I, I can run, I can bike. I don't think swimming is a smart idea, but. And when you need to hear, you just take one of them out. It stops the recording so you can film geese. Although they don't drown out the honking of the geese. Oh my God, there's geese everywhere. There's geese turds. I'm running over geese turds. Look at all the geese. Okay, so now I'm biking along on the phone with Mallory and it's a bit windy. How bad does that sound, Mallory? Not bad? Good. I just realized, I just realized I have my camera in my right, or my left arm and my, um, my, my broken brake is in my right <laughs> and I'm going downhill, hold on. Now, now we got it. <laughs> but this one isn't much better. But you can hear me the whole time? Okay, because now, I mean, now that I'm going downhill, you know, it should be a little windier. You can even jump picnic tables. <laughs> you heard the wind when I jumped? You can even run hills. So I have been going for like three hours and the right AirPod has 45% power remaining and the left has 68 because I didn't have the left in the whole time. The fact is, I've been going nonstop. I haven't let this um, pause really at all. And so that's pretty great. A six hours straight of listening to an audiobook, I think would be pretty amazing. And so I don't know what the stats are, what they're supposed to be. I'm just telling you what I've gotten so far today. Let's see how far away we can go before it starts crackling and then before it's it's just completely non-connected. I'm listening to Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink, the end of it, and so let's see. Still good and I'm probably 40, uh, 30 yards away. Still good. So it would cut out a little bit and then when I turn around it would kind of regain itself and then be normal until the very end. So I, I don't know, I got quite a ways away though, maybe 60 yards, maybe a little bit more. A direct line of sight obviously, so I don't know what it'll be in your home. Depends on what your home's made out of, what your walls are like. You know, one thing I've really loved about this vlog is that I do it when I'm doing my workouts generally or, or before, during and after and that way it doesn't really cut into my work. Now it does take a while to edit, but I try to put in things that I know I'm going to use, like I've been using my book as a basis for each vlog. And so, you know how in Seinfeld when he starts the episode and ends the episode with jokes that came from what he lived? I'm trying to do that. Every day, sort of, I'm trying to go about a day in a way that 
informs what I'm writing, but is based on what I'm writing. And so every day I'm going to try to end it with one paragraph that I've written, you know, within the last day or week or, or, or whatever that fits the narrative of the day I just lived. To relax, I'd put on my earbuds and go on long runs in the countryside outside McLean, wondering who the occupants of the massive estates must be. Diplomats, DC power brokers, or CEOs of Lockheed, Boeing, or Northrop Grumman. The type of people I'd like to meet. On that note, that's a wrap.